How's it going, Berkeley, Princeton, New Haven, Ann Arbor? You know, as a former graduate of the University of Michigan with a degree in Near East Studies, I think it's my duty to explain to you freshmen as you're walking across campus today in your pursuit for academic greatness and you see some, some people screaming to free Palestine by supporting Hamas and destroying Israel. Well, I think it's important since you're at an institution of higher learning that you, you gain the knowledge that you so rightfully deserve. So here are some facts. These are just facts and if you don't believe me, Google them on your way to class. Fact number one, Hamas are terrorists. It's not up for debate, discussion, or argument in any kind of university, student, political forum. You either support the torture, raping, and burning of people alive while, of course, getting it all on your GoPro, or you're a human being. Side note, always interesting to watch a mob of uneducated people support pure evil without even realizing that the very scum they're supporting would hang them and then rape them. Moving on. Fact number two, supporting Hamas hurts Palestinians, period. Hamas has been murdering innocent Palestinian civilians for years. They use them as human shields. They teach and instill a regime of terror and fear executing anyone who does not submit to their oppression. Can anyone say Nazis? In fact, Hundreds of rockets that are aimed at innocent Israeli civilians often fall short and land inside Gaza, killing innocent Palestinian civilians. In fact, just the other week, one backfired and blew up in a parking lot adjacent to the hospital where they were storing the weapons. Yes, you heard me correctly, storing the weapons in the hospital. Fact, Israel is not an apartheid state. And saying so is an insult to anyone who has ever had to live through apartheid. This country here is the only free democracy in the Middle East where you are free to live as you desire so long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. Male, female, binary, whether you identify as a chicken or a squirrel or a piece of duct tape, it really doesn't matter if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're Christian, Muslim, Hindi, we, we do have separate bathrooms, some for men and some for women. Fact, if you really want to help the innocent people who are dying as a result of global terrorism, then stand up against Hamas, against ISIS, and stop the spreading of lies and miseducation. If you think that this is not your problem, then you are gravely mistaken. Just look around you. And if you don't believe me, come here and see for yourself.